barbecuing today on the menu beef jerky not just any beef jerky we're going to be doing it with an ipa so what we're going to do is we're basically going to do a marinade a little light marinade not too many seasonings anything like that we're just going to put an ipa in this one happens to be from second chance brewing in san diego it's a straightforward IPA, kind of, you know, I seem to be on a California IPA kick, but it's, uh, you get hints of grapefruit and some pine. It's just a, a standard great IPA. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix this with, uh, we're going to do about a cup of this with a tablespoon of red chili flake, tablespoon onion powder, and a tablespoon of mustard powder. We basically just want this to uh we want the flavors of the ipa to shine through you don't want to overload with flavors of, of too strong so just a little bit to add flavor a little bit stuff like that all right maybe just a little bit more beer than that we'll take probably about half a can i guess there you go cheers all right so the next important thing when making beef jerky is your cut of meat. Uh, I prefer the eye of round, which is, uh, it, it's not a lot of fat on it. And this has a little bit of fat cap that we're gonna trim off right now, but it, uh, you don't want fat in your, your jerky, obviously, number one, because it, it makes it tough and everything like that, but it also will help spoil your jerky faster if you don't uh, get rid of it. So the eye of round cut has almost no fat. It's a great cut of beef for this. What I did was I uh, froze this for about two or three hours. Just, you can see it's still, still kind of pliable, but a little bit more firm. That way it's just gonna make it easier to cut. I guess if you have a meat slicer, you could do it on that as thin as possible. Um, I like mine maybe about an eighth of an inch thick. So this is about the thickness of the meat that you're gonna wanna get. It's not too thick. It'll make it nice and easy to chew once it's dried out. Uh, we're gonna throw this into a Ziploc bag with the marinade, let it sit overnight. We'll throw it on the yoder, let it go for about four to five hours, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, we got the smoker set up here about 150. We're gonna let this go for about four or five hours. All that meat's been marinated for over about 24 hours now. Um, we got the diffuser panel in. What I like to do is I like to try and put the thicker cuts of meat over where the firebox is. That way the, they don't dry out or they dry out a little bit faster as opposed to the thinner pieces that'll actually like get a little bit too crispy and burn up. So I try and, I try and spread it out a little bit. You know, it, it just kind of helps in the overall texture of everything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish getting these spread out. And then I'll show you my little secret after this. things that you want to avoid doing is overlapping the meat you want to make sure everything's nice and spread out you're trying to get you know a lot of airflow over everything uh, now that the meat's on my last little final touch that I like to do is take some salt and just kind of sprinkle it lightly over the meat uh, I, I feel like it helps draw out a little bit more of the moisture kind of helps speed up the process a little bit but it also you know just adds a little bit of flavor you obviously don't want a ton because then you're gonna over salt it. And since I like my stuff super spicy as always, uh, I got some more little red chili flakes here that I'm just gonna kind of add to the top. That's not gonna add a whole lot of flavor, but it will add a bunch of heat. So I'm looking forward to that. The uh, smell that was coming off the marinade from that IPA smelled absolutely incredible. So I can't wait for four or five hours to end up here. Uh, so I'll see you soon. So we're right about the four hour mark. This is what we're working with. Um, it's pretty breakable at this point. It's not very elastic. That's what the rest is gonna do. Uh, we're gonna let this sit on a cooling tray here for about you know, half hour, 45 minutes, and then we're gonna throw it in a Ziploc bag. And what that's gonna do is there's still a little bit of residual moisture in these, and that's gonna help reconstitute the uh, beef jerky to give you that texture that you're used to in beef jerky. So we'll pull this off, throw it on the grill or on the, the drying rack here, and uh, we'll go from there. It's been a couple hours now. 
you can kind of in this Ziploc bag, you can kind of almost see the, the condensation where it's, you know, kind of rehydrating itself. It's got this beautiful mahogany flavor on it. It looks just like beef jerky. It's nice and pliable at this point. You wouldn't have been able to do this about an hour ago. Uh, it, was, it was super brittle. So this is what we got. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, we use that IPA marinade and uh, that is so good. It's classic beef jerky. So here we go. Subscribe, please, like, all that. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers.